Hey folks, uh, I just got some new toys and I thought I would uh, show you the first and second generation of these toys. So I have the original uh, Lenovo Yoga Book and I have the newer one here because toys. Um, I got this original one. It is the YB1X9F, great name. Uh, but it's known as the yoga, their first yoga book. They originally had an Android and a Windows version. I got the Android version. Uh, it's, it's a yoga because it can flip. And it had a, a keyboard, but not a real keyboard. You can actually turn it off and it became a digit, it becomes a digitizer. And actually, it comes with a paper notebook. So the use case for this was that you would flip this around, attach this paper notebook to this. It's magnetic, so it holds pretty well. And then with its included pencil, you would write on this. You would have a paper copy. And then the yoga book would actually save a digital copy of what you wrote. You didn't, you don't need special paper, but you did need the special pen that it has. I ha uh, the pen was stolen, so I no longer have it, but I do still have the nice notebook. Um, my original thought for buying this was, you're gonna find this funny, I really enjoyed taking written notes when I took tango classes um, and workshops. Um, it just felt nicer to write down things and to draw like, things as well and I couldn't uh, you I type faster but it never I never had the nice tactile notes as I did when I typed it on my phone versus writing it down so I thought I'd have the best of both worlds I can write it on paper make a digital copy and I would have it easy to um, find did I ever do any of that no uh, so what did I use this for I mostly did use it for typing notes you can still type on it. It's like typing on an iPad. There's the buttons aren't real. They are just uh, an image of a button on a flat surface. So uh, it's, it's nice that when you flip it around, it disappears and you still have your tablet. Um, and the other nice thing is that when you tilt it, because it's a it's a it's one of these foldables you can tilt it any angle you want you can use it like a laptop any angle you want and hold it so that was nice uh what i eventually used this for for the most part was on plane trips or whatever i this would be my portable media player i would play i would download movies from my plex server or siri tv series and just uh, watch that on the plane and because you can tilt this in whatever uh, angle you want, it was really easy to find a comfortable viewing angle and watch it. So this became a glorified video player. Also, I got this right around the time there was a lot of news about um, when you're traveling, either US or foreign border patrols would just confiscate laptops because security or whatever. And being my life is on my MacBook, like everything is on my MacBook. I didn't want to risk it. Also, it's way more expensive. So I sort of bought this as a easy to carry computer and video player and not worry about it if it was either lost or stolen. So that was uh, the, the idea of what I would use this for. So eventually this thing basically turned into a glorified video player. I used it to read comics uh, when I didn't want it on my computer, I could just have it on, you know, like a tablet. I would read uh, uh, read my comics or uh, anything color comics on here. On my, I would read black and white stuff on my Kindle. Um, a couple of not good things about this, especially later on after I started using it, was that it is very underpowered. It is a Intel Atom processor. I can't imagine what the Windows version of this thing would have been like. Uh, it it, it, bear, it runs Android at a okay pace. Trying to run Windows on it, I think would have been disastrous. 
Um, the battery life is okay, but since it charges over a micro USB, I could easily use my portable battery pack and just charge it on the go. And actually I did do that for some of our trips to Taiwan. Um, uh, one really weird thing about this is the Wi-Fi would just cut out for no reason. All of a sudden it would just disconnect from Wi-Fi and you, the only way to get it back is to reboot the device. And that was really annoying because yeah, it was just really annoying. Um, one final thing that's super annoying about this is that this is an Android tablet. Lenovo only kept updating this until Android 7, 7.1.1 uh, actually. And even it even stopped doing security updates in August 2017. So this is basically frozen in time. It cannot get any new Android updates. It can't even get security updates. So who knows what kind of weird security issues this thing has. But as a comic book reader, as a video player, you kind of don't want to run web browser on this, but you can, it's fine. It's okay, but it's, it's sort of been obsolescent. Is that a word? <laughs> Um, and I basically stopped using it, occasionally using uh, reading comics or whatever. So yeah, I don't even use this lovely notebook anymore. <laughs> but so, uh, the newer yoga book is out. It is the yoga book uh, C930. And on top of that, there is a Yoga C930, which is completely different. It is a full, normal, uh, foldable, like, laptop. This is kind of that, but not quite. It is Windows. Um, the keyboard, as you can see, is an e-ink. So, let me unlock this. It is a, it's a, still a flat keyboard, but it is now an e-ink panel. So it is a little bit more versatile. It is now a full Windows laptop. I got the, they don't offer an Android version anymore. I think um, that was probably smart. It is a full Windows laptop running a, uh, I wrote this down somewhere, Core i5 1.2 dual core CPU. It is fine for basic tasks, web browsing. Yeah, it is, it's fine. It's not, gonna blow your socks off, but it's <laughs> it can run Chrome, it runs YouTube at 4K actually, not bad. Um, you know, nicely powered tablet. The retail version comes with a stylus, this eBay version does, uh, the eBay version did not have the stylus, but considering how little I used the stylus on that yoga book, I decided that it was worth the, the money savings and you can still buy the stylus separately if I ever decide that I wanted to get the stylus for uh, for writing or whatever. But I, I think I know myself, I'm never gonna use the stylus even if I got it. Uh, there was a, There is a fingerprint reader for signing in. It is horrendous. Half the time it does not work. So if I turn it on, that's of course when I'm recording, it works fine. Nope, could not be recognized. Nope, cannot be recognized. There it goes. You know, I'm used to the iPhone when it had a touch ID and whenever you just touched it, it like worked 99% of the time. This is literally about half the time it does not recognize and I'm better off just typing in my key, uh, uh, the key, the, the code. <laughs> this is really a cool feature. Unfortunately, it's slightly broken on this one. So. It's held together by magnets. It's actually quite hard to open it one-handed. It has a neat feature where if you knock on it, it's supposed to pop open, but this side doesn't quite pop open. Uh, the manual says don't put any heavy objects on it when you do this. I think somebody did that and it broke this side of the magnet, but it's still really neat. It's pretty hard to open, but even... Come on when it opens this a little bit and it's enough to help you op open the tablet. It's a gimmicky as hell feature. It is, I love that they did it. It's great. <laughs> so as I said, this is an e-ink keyboard. 
a good angle for this. Um, there's no trackpad, right? Well, there is. If you touch this, this turns into a trackpad. And you would think that's a good idea, but it kind of isn't because you think you're, you, when you put your hand here and start trackpadding, this is the space bar. So more often than not, I hit the space bar thinking I'm going to use the trackpad, but you actually have to touch this first. Uh, and also, if you start drifting away, this starts to a haptic buzz saying, oh, you're out of the trackpad range. So if you leave the trackpad area, it doesn't quite work. Um, you sort of get used to it. Also, this is a full touch screen. So that you can use this, just touch the screen to get. But this being Windows, all the touch targets are tiny. So trying to press a tiny exit window or whatever is pretty hard. So you, for me, it's actually better to use the keyboard. And you may have seen when I turn it off, what is this photo? What is this photo? Why is there a photo here? Well, uh, this is an e-ink screen. So when you turn it off, you can set up background image. Because it's e-ink, it doesn't use any power. It only uses power when it sets the image. Once it's set, it doesn't use anything. And one of the new features of the latest firmware, it's still being updated, is that you can set your own images. And this happens to be a photo of Mamamoo, the Korean, um, band and they happen to be wearing black and white outfits and this looks best when using a black and black and white image so should anybody get this no absolutely not it is finicky it is a little bit annoying to use uh, but i really wanted to play with the e-ink screen the e-ink screen has its own apps the normal keyboard and when you press this the trackpad appears or typing is fine. It's like typing on a screen on a phone or a tablet or a pad. It does it buzzes when you press a button so you know what you hit, but if you don't like typing on a screen, typing on this is not gonna be any better. The other app is that it can has a tablet mode. So you, with the stylus or even with your finger, you can draw and stuff like that. Uh, it has a button here that turns off uh, it turns on palm rejection, so it only recognizes the stylus, which is actually really nice. Again, this eBay auction did not include the stylus, so can't do anything about that. It also has an uh, e-reader. Like, it'll do EPUBs, PDFs, things like that. It looks really nice uh, when you swipe around. It's very low power. It looks like a Kindle, part of the reason why I got this. And one of the newest actual features of this is that it has a screen mirror mode now. So now it'll actually mirror what's on the main color touchscreen screen. Um, is that useful? It's fun to play with. Like, so I can actually have like a slideshow. Uh, this is Lisa. <laughs> uh, I took a photo of her at Comic-Con ages ago. Uh, this is Mamamoo. Uh, again, I mentioned it earlier, but it just looks great. It looks like paper. I love the look of e-ink. This is Una and I uh, dancing. So why would you use this then? It's it's not just for a photo, like a glorified photo, uh, photo, uh, like a glorified photo book. Um, you can run apps that are technically not supported on the e-ink screen. For instance, you could run the Kindle app. Uh, the text looks great. The grayscale images look okay. But if you want, if you don't want a backlight screen or I just want to see what uh, you can do with an e-ink screen and have the flexibility and still have like a usable computer, unlike the last yoga book. It's actually not bad. Uh, it, the screen is pretty quick. Um, typical Kindle-like speeds. Um, and yeah, I'm having fun playing it. Uh, I think what will happen is that this will eventually also become just a glorified video player, just like the other yoga book. But it's fast. It does 
I am able to use it as a browser pretty comfortably because it has a decent CPU. It's running Windows, which I'm not super happy with, but the fact that it's still getting updates and it'll probably continue to get updates is very welcome. Actually, this has a newer version of Windows 10 bugging me to install right now. Uh, I'm happy with it as it is right now. It's, yeah, it's fun. It has a, it has a lovely e-ink screen. Uh, Plex works. Chrome works, YouTube works, the Kindle app works. So it works on both comics and uh, book books. And uh, yeah, the battery is not super great, but it has two USB-C ports on both sides, which is so good that you can just plug in either side and I can use a USB-C battery to charge this thing on the go if we ever go anywhere. Um, it has a SD card, micro SD card slot as well. Uh, this, this model comes with four gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Most of the eBay auctions was only 128 uh, for the same price. So I'm actually pretty happy with this buy. Um, I think I got a pretty good deal compared, uh, compared to some of the other auctions that was going. It looks nice, it's tiny. It has the same foldability so that I can prop it up in whatever configuration I want. It is still heavy. It's heavier than an iPad of the same size. Uh, this rattles ever so slightly, but it's a neat design. I enjoy using it. We'll hope, uh, we'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a video in a few years and see how I feel after that compared to how I felt about the original yoga book. But uh, anyway, this has been the new yoga book, yoga book C930.